everybody. Well, it is travel day. We are leaving Pahrump, and I'm so glad that I have my tattoo to remind me that love never fails, and the yin-yang, that everything is temporary, and that there's always two sides to the coin, so to speak, the yin and the yang. And I am tired this morning. I, I'm not sure why, but I'm not resting well. I'm going to miss this desert, by the way. <laughs> going to miss Lisa and Spencer. But I'm not resting well. And it's because, I, I do know why, actually, if I get real about that. It's because I'm uptight because I, like, I haven't gotten all my books out yet. I stayed up late last night, and I signed 20 of them, and I have, like, 20 more to go. And how wonderful is that? And so... But it, 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 that's the yin and the yang. It's a wonderful thing and it's taking me a long time and I'm feeling bad because these people are waiting on their books and they bought pre-sale and or pre-release and I just now got the shipment and g didn't get it out to them right away. And But I'll get them out this week and it just has to be what it is. I can only stay up so late. And also I'm uptight because the holidays are coming up. And does anybody else get uptight about the holidays before they even happen? I mean, it's, it's, it's like middle of November. And next week we'll be at my friend Tiki's for Thanksgiving. And I'm really excited about that. But Robert's going to be missing his family. And he's going to be sad about that. And then there's Christmas. And I've already got people that are telling me some gifts that they've gotten me. And I don't have the money to give gifts. And... You know how we just do all of that. And I just tossed and turned and tossed and turned last night. And it is, it, it's all about staying in the present, right? In this moment, all my needs are met. In this moment, all is well. And I took forever getting ready this morning because I'm tired. And I'm sure, I'm guessing, that my travel partner is having some anxiety over how long it takes us or took me to get going and is taking us to hit the road and yet he is patient enough that he got everything ready and allowed me to do this clip so that I can tell you guys it's travel day and here we go and I get to sit and ride with him while he does the driving and I'm having to make myself look at the blessings today and get real about that and not focus on all the stuff that's going on in my freaking head. Does anybody else ever have mornings like that? That's all good. And, uh, you know, I, I am anxious to get on the road. It's been, we've, I've been here almost a month and a half now. Deborah's been here maybe a week less than that, I think, something like that. But so, yeah, it's really a long time for us. Other than like we go to Wyoming, we like never, it's still this long, but it's all good. Don't want to, don't need to be stressful or anything this morning, and we just got a great ride ahead of us. We're looking forward to with a with a newly fixed up van. So it's all good. Okay, you know that thing I just said about no stressing. Well, there's people down the road, you know, they're they're like doing high powered, fast, rapid firing all morning. It sounds like cannons and it's just yahoos out using the desert for target practice. And because I wasn't firing on all cylinders and got up and got ready and got the van ready, we're having to just throw stuff in the van instead of putting it back where it goes after. Can y'all hear that fire? Listen. So I don't know if y'all could hear that or not. They they quit firing right after I, I got quiet. But uh, yeah, so we're having to throw things into the van and it's not going where it needs to go. And we have more stuff than can fit in the van. And that's why we were looking for an RV. And like Robert said, Fancy Free is all fixed up. We are safe and sound. We got to be here with wonderful people. And we have our health and our safety and our belongings that we need and all is well. It is going to be a constant reminder of that today, you guys. It's just gonna be that kind of day. Thank you for being here on this journey with me. Now we get to do the hitch and we still have the manual hitch because we can't find the right mounts to do the foldable one. So it's still manual. That's okay. We're getting her done. We're 
we're about to meet up with Spencer who's meeting us at the end of the road since we're pulling the toad and don't want to have to go traipsing across the desert to their other piece of property and so we're, we're they where they actually live and so Spencer's meeting us down on the pavement so that we can say bye to him and give him one last thank you and big hug for all the work he did on Fancy Free. Robert, you holding up okay leaving the desert after six weeks? Oh yeah, it's a little weird. I'm not, I never spent that long anywhere, so it's kind of weird. It was starting to feel like home. <laughs> okay, I don't know if y'all can hear all of the road traffic or not, but we drove all the way down to Quartzsite and Ehrenberg. I wanted to stop at Craigie Wash in Lake Havasu. I still have books to sign. Robert didn't want to stop. I wanted to stop in Parker. He didn't want to stop there. We came on to Quartzsite and now we're parked beside Highway 10 because he didn't want to drive in the dark to find a place. And I get that it's only for a night because we're going to Ehrenberg tomorrow morning to do laundry and um, get showers and everything but I have still 20 books to sign and they have to go out tomorrow I've promised people and you know and I know everybody's gonna say that doesn't matter but it does matter there it's like a week late and I've got to so I'll have to do that tomorrow and I'm so tired and I thought about not posting this and you know I and I don't know whether I should or not but this is what's going up and by the time you read this or see this everything will have been resolved and and it'll everything will be fine and that's the way of it right the yin and the yang and we get to the other side and everything's fine the darkest before the dawn all of that keep on keeping on and life is good always no matter what I believe that right now I'm just really tired and this highway noise is gonna keep me up most of the night and I don't do well with that and the van is got so much crap thrown in it that Robert's having to sleep in the car again so anyway getting real with Deborah one layer at a time one day at a time and this one's one night at a time and uh, it'll the next video will be better that's all I can say it's removing the layers and this is the layer tonight just frustrated tired and it'll get better good night everybody